Gaffer obviously game on uh, Saturday against Doncaster Rovers. You had a midweek game. How have the lads been since that performance against Wigan? Well, I think we were all disappointed to lose the game. We uh, we worked so hard to get back in, having really handed them the advantage in that in that early stages of the first half. Uh, worked so hard to get back in, and then to get back in and throw it away um, was was crazy. But uh, it was it was one point that we threw away. It wasn't it wasn't three. We we got ourselves into a drawing position, not a winning position. And uh, the important thing, you know, when these mishaps happen, is that you learn from them. I think we're looking back, we had 24 attempts at their goal. They had 19 at ours, and uh, we had the bulk of the possession. So, uh, you know, th there was a lot right in the performance the other night. At both ends of the pitch, we could have been more clinical in our, in our finishing. Certainly, we had some great chances that we didn't take. And at the other end, you know, they were much more ruthless with the chances they did have, which is why they scored the three and we only got the two. So uh, we need we need to just tighten up defensively and make sure that we've got better defensive habits. So much of my focus since I've been here has been on building an attacking game, get us going forward with a little bit more freedom and a little bit more purpose and a little bit more clinicality. Um, I think I think we've gone forward in those regards. The the football that we're playing is, uh, you know, at times exhilarating. But uh, we just need to make sure that uh, we don't lose sight of the defensive habits that you need to ally to those attacking habits to be a winning team. There's actually been 18 goals in the last three home matches at the AMAC Stadium, which is an incredible figure. and shows just how much uh, entertainment is on show. And, and you don't want to lose that, it, although you, you obviously want to tighten up your back at the back. Yeah, we, we, we've spoken this morning about um, you know, sustaining the, uh, the attacking fluency, the attacking flair, learning to defend off the back of our attacking play. Um, it's just little habits here and there. It's, it's five more yards here. It's adjusting a position. It's it's a, a, a technique in terms of a, approaching a player. It's a, a decision in terms of when to challenge and when not to challenge. It's little things that we can fine tune, and we've worked very hard this morning just to add add aspects to our game in the defensive aspect. Um, tomorrow is going to be a, a big day in terms of uh, developing our, our attacking game and building on that fluency, and making sure that you know we sharpen the, the sword in their box. Um, if we do that, um, I think the football that we're playing and uh, the quality of the of the boys' overall game um, is only going to take them one way in this league. Yeah, Doncaster obviously has signed, obviously recently appointed for manager Darren Ferguson. Does that make any difference whatsoever in terms of your preparation? No, not at all. Obviously, Darren will bring a, a you know a slightly different game to them. Um, you know, he's he's got his own way of playing and and he's bound to impose that. So. In terms of preparation, there's no point in us looking back as we normally would do over the last six, seven, eight games. Um, you know, we very much need to focus on the here and now and know what they're likely to do. But our focus going into games is very rarely, um, you know, too in depth in terms of oppositions. We like to we like to know that they're not going to give us any major surprises, but we like the game to be one where they're focusing on us and they're having to deal with us. And uh, more and more as the players get fitter. Um, get stronger, become more aware of the game we play, become more um, able to develop that game. Um, you know, we, we expect to see sides come into our, our place and, uh, and suffering at our hands. Yeah, and as a, as a Thursday, I mean, Knox are always going to come from a Tuesday night game. Are you still assessing them ahead of Saturday's game? Yeah, but uh, I'm not expecting there to be anything uh, too serious. We're, um, we're in a, a good overall shape. The players that you know, have, have played the two games, um, I've had to take them off the training ground this morning. They want to stay out there and I've had to force them to one side. Um, which is good. Um, they've got the energy, um, their fitness is, is improving, they're feeling sharp um, and uh, you know it's great when players are telling you that, that they're feeling as sharp and as strong as they felt and uh, they're really enjoying their football.